state lawmakers have started a debate over proposed bills that could spend millions of dollars to help tackle the state's growing heroin problem. 10 TV's Jim Heath reports the pain of addiction is hitting some families hard. This was when he was in Whitehall schools, when he was like in the 10th grade. He was such a good boy. Melissa Mintier is talking about her son, James. Several months ago, at just 24, he overdosed on heroin. He used to tell me that he would hear, you know, it calling him. Heroin is something that it is the most evil drug. This was Melissa's first day back to work since her son's death. She says while he struggled through addiction as a teen, eventually leading to prison time, they had hoped earlier this year that he had turned his life around. He's got a four-year-old daughter that now grows up without her, her dad. I mean, this is what I have left of my son. It's horrible. And we have to get people into treatment so they can recover. At the State House today, a group of bipartisan lawmakers proposed 11 bills aimed at the drug problem. The package includes $180 million on recovery housing for addicts. It requires schools to provide opiate addiction education, new standards for medical treatment of chronic pain, and it would mandate that all doctors check the state automated drug reporting system before prescribing painkillers. He was my best friend. For Melissa, her hope is that her son's death will help bring attention to the heroin problem and save the pain of other families. If my son's death saves one child, one kid, one 20-year-old, 30-year-old, then I have know in my heart that maybe it was worth it. That was why it happened to him. In Whitehall, Jim Heath, 10 TV News. Now, most of the additional funding for the drug abuse programs, if approved by lawmakers next year, would come from Ohio's recent decision to expand Medicaid.